Hello Arturians, in this video I'll be testing the new assault rifle against AN94. But it won't be me who will test it, it will be someone else. <laughs> because you know, my AN94 special formula is level 39, while my electric arc assault rifle is level 0. So I'm losing a lot of damage boost here. That's why I'll have someone who actually level up their electric arc assault rifle to balance the damage loss. First, let's see the gun stat comparison. AN-94 5 star has 106 attack power with 1.6 weapon fire power. Electric arc or EA has 112 attack power with 1.6 weapon fire power. So the difference is 6 attack power. But the person who gonna test the weapon has level 50 special formula. So the damage boost from it will be 12% damage bonus, 5 attack power, 16% crit damage bonus and some few precision which has nothing to do with the damage test while the electric arc special formula is level 20 which gives 4% damage bonus 2 attack power 8% crit damage bonus and again some few precisions so in a total the damage differences will be 111 attack power versus 114 attack power EACE wins by 3 attack power but lose 8% damage bonus and 8% crit damage. I would say that's fair enough. Okay, first let's try this thing on PvE. EA damage in PvE mode is as expected, it's slightly below A94 because of the damage bonus differences. Once they level up their EA special formula, the damage surely better than A94, especially on that high. Now let's see how's this thing on PvP. Okay, first, if you ask me where the extra damage come from, <laughs> I really don't know. It's only Natis who can explain that. The damage for EA in PvP is weird. They cannot have extra damage from nowhere. You guys can test it yourself later on if you don't believe this. The damage for EA is supposed to be around AN94, but nope, they have some crazy hidden god knows what stuff. AN94 with level 50 special formula only deal 24 damage while EA with level 20 special formula could deal 33 damage. That's huge, I cannot imagine this gun on higher levels, definitely very strong, I'm even thinking of changing back to rifleman because of this. But we will see first because my camp needs me as a warrior, as we only have few warriors. And in CTC, warriors are great for disturbing enemy ranks, I really hope I can change back though, Playing as warrior give me a headache. <laughs> well anyway, let's see this new weapon on NC. Enjoy!
Okay, the conclusion is this new assault rifle is very strong in PvP. In PvE, the damage is like what we expected, but in PvP, they have some godly extra damage boost from God knows where. I really want to change back to rifleman as I like shooting more than slashing. But again, warrior's role is very important in CTC. So let's just see how later. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.